Hello friends and hello fellow vintage lovers. Welcome to a large, quite eclectic haul. All of these items I purchased at local stores and I'm so excited to say that supporting local businesses means so much to me. Every single one of these items I picked up from the town I live in, which is really, really cool considering there's only 3,800 people here. I can't wait to show you guys everything. What a haul. What a good sourcing event. We're going to call it an event because it started last Friday and I actually did go shopping yesterday. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. Rick had the, the day off, um, just like an extended birthday and we had so much fun going out and sourcing. We got a few things for ourselves. We got these amazing vintage speakers stereo speakers they're awesome we got a great deal on those we got a couple things we needed for the house i left all that out of this video i just wanted to show you guys the items that are vintage and amazing and amazing they really are okay so i met first of all i went to a store a local store here that i'd never been to before i had seen it on facebook but i hadn't gone and the moment I walked in, it had an amazing smell. I know this sounds weird, but it had a great smell of incense. And everything about it was so welcoming. I fell in love with this place. I also fell in love with the owner, Patty. Shout out to Patty. Hopefully she'll watch this. I'll, I'll have to let her know about it. But I had a great time talking to her. She is so creative. She actually did make several of these pieces I'm about to show you guys. Her mother also made some pieces as well. The shop is like a mixture of handmade items and vintage and antiques. It is so cool. I will take you guys on a little shop along there very soon, maybe this week, if not definitely by next week. I can't wait to show you guys. I'm also going to put some items in the shop. So that is so exciting to me. I absolutely cannot wait. I was really excited to find the shop and to find a kindred spirit. It was so fun. So what I'm going to do is show you the items I got there at the Country Bouquet. And then I'll explain where I got everything else as I go item by item. Okay, so the first thing I got is this. I got this as a gift, but I wanted to show it to you guys. Look at this little print of Raggedy Ann. It is signed by the artist, Patty, and it's called Shoestring Annie. How cute is this? A little shout out to Apple there. I also picked this up as a gift. Um, this was made by my new friend. It is so cool. I'm sure a lot of you know, based on the butterfly, who that is for. But it explains on the bag. I'm sorry, I've got dogs walking around on the floor. Pitter-patter of dog feet. Um, okay, so this was handmade with vintage ephemera, made in Germany. How cool. So she repurposes and reuses all sorts of vintage and antique items. Some of her jewelry, y'all, is insane, and I can't wait to show you it. There's one piece that I'm going to have to pick up. It is so cool. So I got that as a gift. Then I picked up these earrings that she made. These are, they might be antique. I know they're definitely vintage safety pins, but she repurposes them and makes them into earrings. And this one has, it looks like AB Crystal. Yeah. Um, I just thought this was really really cool I also love her logo shout out there then I picked up this one this one has more ambers and purples probably why I was drawn to this one I think these are so freaking cool so I got two of those then I picked up these rings that she made these are wire wrapped rings it's probably going to take a second to focus there we go um really really cool so this one has like a, a crystal a faceted crystal on the inside then I got this one which I thought was really cool um, this is almost like a dark purple I'm not sure if it's showing on camera but this is so cool I love it I have been wearing these around I love them she did a great job on these as well as everything else that she made in the store 
I also picked up this. Now, I don't know if she made this or not. I didn't think to ask her, but I collect masks, so I thought that this uh, pendant necklace was really cool. And then it happened to come with these uh, vintage earrings. They're cool, little discs, but I really wanted that because it's so cool. Okay, now on to the critters. So her mother is also very, very creative. I can't wait to meet her. Um, all about the store, there were all sorts of animals that her mother handmade. And I'm not quite sure what exactly they're made of, but this is like a painted fabric um, and yarn. It is so cute. This donkey is also a gift. Um, but let me know. Put it in the comments if there are certain animals you're looking for. She had some crows, and I'm definitely going to get a crow. They're so cool. But she has all sorts of animals, and I can't wait to go back and video and show you guys. I also got this. This is a bottle topper, just for decorative purposes. But it is this mouse or rat. She has on a pearl necklace, and then she has pearl earrings. I think this is so cute. So you have to picture it, you know, on top of a wine bottle. How cute is this? Oh, it's so whimsical. And fantastic. I love these so, so much. I'm really excited. Can you guys tell? I'm so excited. Okay, so there I also picked up this. So I saw this tiger and I saw it opened up and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. Come to find out, this is a like a drinking cup or mug from the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Um, it is so cool. It's in excellent condition. Um, I just think this is awesome. I had to get it. I, I don't know why I was drawn to it. Um, it is plastic. It's cool, though. And I believe they have a pretty decent value as well. Um, a lot of the animal items from uh, the circus have increased in value because they no longer have animals in the circus, which I, I agree with, I will admit. Okay. What else did I get there? That might be everything I got. No, it's not. I also picked up this uh, uh, amazing frame. Um, this is modern, made to look Victorian. I just thought this frame was amazing, y'all. Look at it. It is so pretty. And it's got this little girl in it. Um, oh, you know what? It is actually vintage. It's made in Taiwan. But how cute is this, guys? Oh, I love this. I love the detailing on it, especially the flowers here. It would be so cute. Well, hanging anywhere. But in my mind, I'm envisioning on my gallery wall. Okay, I think that's everything I got at the Country Bouquet. I'm gonna show you guys everything else I got. I'm kind of gonna be going back and forth. I don't know if you guys even care, but I'm gonna show you what I got where. So there is a local thrift store in town that also the owner is amazing there. She has like a food pantry where people can drop off food. Um, she does clothing drives for um, children who can't afford to get clothes for the school year. Uh, just, it's just awesome. So I went twice. I went Friday and then I went back yesterday. So I'm gonna show you what I got there. I got this purse, y'all. So this is handmade. It's got a lion on one side and on the other side is this velvety, um, I guess it's a cheetah print. I think it is a cheetah print. Um, and it's got this ruffle here. It's in excellent condition. You know what? This is probably a cheetah. I don't know. What do y'all think? I was thinking it was a lion. Yeah, he doesn't have spots. But how cute is this purse? I cannot believe there's not a tag. Somebody needs to take credit for this because I think this bag is so cute, y'all. This is a lot of work. So I picked that up. I also picked this. I can't get away from these omelet pans. I just love them. Um... This one is so 70s. It's in great shape. I don't see any wear or damage to it. So that'll be coming up in a sale. And I do want to mention, if you see something in this video that you're interested in, you can let me know. Um, of course, there's a couple of things that I got as gifts, but especially on these items and maybe the jewelry pieces, let me know if you're interested in them and I can go pick them up. Okay.
So where was I? I got this. I also picked up this Polish glass. Now this is um, wet because I just cleaned it. Um, this beautiful amethyst. Let's see if I can get it to show up better. Um, vase. It is absolutely gorgeous. It did have a tag that said made in Poland, but unfortunately when I washed it, it got too wet and it fell off. Usually I'm able to prevent, prevent that, but I think the tag was just too old and you know, the water got on it. So beautiful piece of glass. Pick that up there. I also picked this up. So this is German and this is um, a gold silhouette. It has this little boy probably a boy, but um, it could be a boy or a girl with a bunny. I did look these up. These were sold as a pair. There was a girl that went with this as well, but I had to get it. This is so cute for your Easter display, y'all. Look at this little bunny. I think this is amazing. Um, it is marked Germany on the back. It's probably going to be hard to see. Uh, Richard's made in Germany, and it does have a number there at the bottom. So, I love that. Okay, this guy's, I, I, I'm hoping that one of you maybe has some knowledge about this piece. Um, this is a fabric trinket box. I've never quite seen anything like this. I am not sure if this is a famous painting that um, they, they painted and put on here. I'm not sure if this is an individual painted piece where somebody actually painted on this. I don't think so, but it very well could be. It does have a signature here, VEC Roygo. I checked all different variations of that, and I couldn't find it. If any of you know anything about this piece, let me know. It kind of reminds me of Spain or Portugal. I could be totally off there, but I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. It's in excellent condition. It's got a really cool texture, so love that. Then I got this camel. I don't, I just couldn't resist this camel. He is um, a candle holder. You could also put incense in there, whatever you want. I thought he was so cute. And he's Fitz and Floyd. He is vintage Fitz and Floyd. He does have some crazing, but I think that just makes him cooler. So I picked him up. What else did I get there? I got some shirts. You know what? I'm going to show all the shirts at the end because I got those at two different uh, thrift shops. Okay, so I think that, oh no, I got this. I got this really cool vase as well. This did, um, this did appear in my sale on Friday. It has not sold yet, so if you're interested in this, you can definitely let me know. Um, this really cool handmade um, piece of pottery. It is not signed on the bottom, at least not that I could see, um, but this is just so cool. I love the browns. It's a really cool texture as well. Okay, then I picked this up. This is so cool. So this is a brutalist uh, candle holder from Spain. It's very tall. It's very spiky. It did have a candle in it. I was able to pop that candle right out by leaving it in the fridge overnight. This is just so cool. I am not quite sure what metal this is because to me it looks like it was maybe brushed. But I, I can't tell. Y'all let me know. Um, it is hammered here on the bottom as well. I wish there had been two, but there was only one. I think this is so, so cool. And it does have a sticker here on the bottom, made in Spain. FX2530. Not quite sure what that is. I did try to lens this, and I couldn't find anything exactly like it. So, I just think. Cool. I got a good deal on it, so I'm able to offer that up for sale. Is that it? No. Okay, so I also picked up this vintage patent purse there as well. Let me see. Gosh, let me see if I can open it. Hold on. Okay, I feel like this purse was never used. Um, it actually does have an old sticker in it, but it doesn't have a maker, so I'm not sure who makes this. I do need to clean it up a little bit, but how fabulous is this purse? It's fantastic. There's a little bit of wear here that I think I can probably get off, but it is a great bag. I love it. I love the lock there. So, so cool. Okay, what else did I get there? 
think that's it. The rest is clothing. I did pick this up. I forgot about this at Country Bouquet. Um, this amazing hand mirror. It has this Greek lady playing. And it has a mirror here, obviously. Um, it is an older piece. I'm sure you can tell. I haven't tried to clean it up yet. Um, I am going to do so. You know, I love things that show their age. So it doesn't bother me that this isn't perfect. I think it's super cool. And I love everything Greek. Most of you know I have a history degree and I uh, specifically study Greek and Roman history. And I just, I love collecting it. So I thought this was really cool. I'd never seen that before. Okay, I think that's it. I think, I think. So now I'm going to show you everything else I picked up. Yeah. Um, so there is another thrift store not too far from me where I got everything else. Um, I picked up this <laughs> adorable donkey. He is brand new. Uh, what is he made by? I have not looked him up. Aurora Mione Tots. He is so freaking cute, y'all. I actually have three donkeys on the table. What's going on? I love them. Okay. Then I picked this up because I thought it was really, really cute. This Beanie Baby Sloth. I'm trying to remember his name. His name is Silas. I just thought he was cute. He's in excellent condition as well. Then the last piece of plush I got was this Dumbo. Uh, this is a Disney Parks piece. So you had to buy it at Disney. I haven't looked this one up yet either. I, I mean, who doesn't love Dumbo? Although it is the saddest Disney movie for me. I can't. I just can't. But he's so cute and he's in excellent condition as well. Looks like there's a little tag here that I need to cut out. But other than that, he's fantastic. Okay, then I got this. Y'all, y'all, look at this ashtray. I did pay up for this a little bit because I knew that they were valuable. There is this amber glass ashtray, and it fits in this wooden holder. Y'all, this is amazing. Take a, take a screenshot. Lens it. Look it up. These are worth money. Um, I actually had cleaned it once, and when I put it out here, I realized I need to clean it again. It's probably got 50 years worth of ashes in it, so I need to clean it up one more time. But it is in great condition. There's no... Um, damage to the actual ashtray or the wood. I need to polish the wood as well. Um, I love it. I'm not going to lift it up and show you guys everything, but talk about brutalist. You've got like these nails and this wood. It is so, so cool. I believe this is anchor hawking. I cannot remember right now, but amazing, right? Then I got this little girl, you know, normally I'm drawn to animals, which I'm going to show you here in a second. But I picked up this little girl candle holder. Look at her. She's so cute with her little ponytails. So I got her. Then I got these um, Fire King Creamer and Sugar. It's an open sugar. This is the florette pattern. Both of these are in excellent condition. No damage on either. Really, really cool. I just thought those were really pretty. They'd be perfect for an Easter assemblage as well or just to have out during spring. Really, really pretty. Then these kitties, y'all. I've had these kitties before. I have not had them in the pink. Uh, these are old Japan pieces, and they actually did put a date here themselves. 1957, I believe that says. I don't know, guys. Is that a one or a seven? Don't know. But look at this grumpy kitty. Look at this face. He's so grumpy with this little top hat. He is in amazing condition. Now, there's a little girl kitty with him as well. She has a little bit of damage to her flower right there. It's not significant enough um, for me not to get. Does that make sense? I figured somebody would still want it with that damage, but look at her. She's so cute and they match. They are not shakers. Whoops. They are not shakers. They are little figurines. Okay, I'm going to show you some of the clothing I picked up. I don't know why I'm picking up clothing. I'm going to blame it on Roy. <laughs> um, I am having a clothing sale. I keep kind of teasing that. I'm hoping to have it sometime this weekend. 
I do want to let you guys know, too, I will be live tomorrow night. Um, tomorrow is Thursday, just in case this takes forever to upload, at 8 Eastern. It'll be a solo sale. I'm really excited for it. All of these items will be in the sale. So if you see something now that you're interested in, you can always send me an email, calypsoantiques at gmail.com. If you want to claim an item before then, just let me know. Okay, so here's the clothing. I got this Bucky's sleeveless shirt. Um, this is a size large. I just thought it was cute. Everybody seems to be crazy about Bucky's right now. So um, it's this cute tie-dyed shirt. Then I got this. I don't think these have ever been worn. They are so cute. I'm trying to remember who makes them. I'm not sure. Briefly stated. There we go. Look at these pajamas, y'all. Avocado and toast. You complete me. I just thought it was so cute. Uh, of course, these would have been really cute for Valentine's Day, but I think, you know, these are appropriate at any time. And who doesn't love avocado and toast, first of all? And who doesn't love anthropomorphic avocado and toast? Look at that. So cute. Um, it's really soft. It's got a really nice um, texture to it. Then I got this. This is a vintage Pink Floyd shirt. I'm assuming this is a tour shirt. I haven't seen this one before, but it's got an old tag here, and it's a size large. It's very wrinkled. I'm going to probably try to iron it and get that a little bit flatter, but I love that the tag is still there. You know, this is a great shirt, y'all. Great. Fantastic. If you're a Pink Floyd fan, um, this is just really, really cool. Love it. Then I got another Bucky shirt. This one is larger. This one is a 2X. It's really cute, too. Now, this one is made to look distressed. Um, so, this is an actual, you know, damage to it. But on one side, it has Bucky. And then on the other side, it says, We'll travel for Bucky's try to get it show a little bit better. So this is on the back. How freaking cute is that? So I picked those up as well. I'm forgetting something. I feel like I am. I am this, this, and then I have some books to show you guys. This is a reverse painted crystal ball. It has a stand that came with it and the stand actually moves which is fantastic so if you want to move the horses around to have a different view you can do so it came in this amazing box it also came with this paperwork um, explaining you know how it was made um, each crystal ball is meticulously hand painted using various types of brushes by a single artist to impart a sense of the artist into their work okay so i'm going to show you how they do it if you don't already know, I hate getting my fingerprints all over this. Now this is actually heavy, but this is where they paint. Isn't that cool? I, you know, it looks dirty there at the end. Well, it's supposed to because that's where their brushes went. But let me kind of show you guys this. Look at these horses. So this is all hand painted. Amazing. The base is really cool as well. I'm gonna show you guys the base independently. That crystal ball is really heavy, um, but see how it moves? I just think this is so freaking cool. So it also came in this amazing box. A funny story about this. This I found at a store downtown, um, and they had three. So they had these horses, they had some egrets or herons, and then they had some people. Well, of course I'm drawn to the horse horses. So I was looking at it. I was debating it. You know, it wasn't cheap. And Rick came over and he said, aren't you getting that? And I said, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I would want to keep it for myself. And he was like, go ahead and get it. Just get it. So um, I probably will offer it for sale. See if anybody is interested. It will not be, um, you know, a low cost item that is for sure but it is absolutely amazing and if there's any interest y'all let me know i can go back and get the bird and the people um 
I know one of them was a little bit larger than this. I know it's probably hard to tell, but it's, it's pretty big. It's just amazing. I love this so much. Okay, let me kind of show you guys what I got in the background. I forgot all about this. I got this. Now, this has some wear, but this is a, like a coffee table book of Versailles. I just thought it was cool. I love having things like this um, around the house. I love, you know, art books, things like this. I like having them out and on display just to flip through. And I love France, so I thought it would be cool to get Versailles. I'm trying to see if there's a year. 94. So I have been to France, but I didn't have time to go to Versailles. And I so want to go back. So hopefully that will happen. I picked up three more books. This one is Decorating Your Home with Love. And this is from the 80s. This book is pretty cool. The binding is really tight. Um, so it was sold by this store in Van, Texas, and it was, I thought I saw a price. Maybe it's on another one. Um, look at how 80s this is. So it's got all these different pictures explaining how to decorate um, 80s style. So I thought somebody might enjoy this. Uh, the binding is really, really tight, so it probably was never used. Color, what a remarkable rainbow. Um, some of this does remind me of my grandmother, some of these decorating ideas. So I picked that up. Then I got this book. Um, oh, this one was $16.95. So I'm always fascinated by Native American history. So, I, and I love this cover. I, I would just have this on an easel, have it out for display. Um, I'm assuming that's probably maybe a, a blanket. Not quite sure. This one too, it's like it's never been read. See? But it was $16.95 back in the day. Um, I haven't looked at this yet, so I don't know much about what's in here. I just thought it was really cool, so I grabbed it. You know, you just get a feeling. This is from 88. So, anyway, really cool book. This does, this does have a... No, this one has a dust jacket. Um, as well as this other one I'm about to show you. I have dogs opening doors, <laughs> so bear with me. This book, I have. Um, I don't have this edition. So this, first of all, how mid-century is this book? I do have the dust jacket for that as well. Um, this is The Age of Chivalry, and this also has some amazing pictures in it. I think this is from 19, 1969, and it was actually published by National Geographic, which is cool. Whoa, what is this? Ooh, these are like special textured pages in here. Does it fold out? It does. How cool is this? It's like a tapestry. Oh, epic tale and tapestry. There you go. So, yeah, this book is fantastic. I think my version does not have that. But how cool is that? I also picked up... Guys, I don't know how I forgot this, but I also got these four pictures. I got these at the Country Bouquet as well. These are old tarot cards. How cool are they? Look how cool the frames are. I think I've been in a brutalist mood lately, but these are amazing. These are probably gonna go in my home. Uh, I love them so much. They're so cool. I can't remember if there's any information. There is. Bamboo. Bembro. Bembro. I'm sorry. Artist Bembro. There are play cards. How cool. So I guess they consider tarot cards play cards. Okay. Then the last thing I got, Dexter is saying hello, <laughs> is this easel or stand. Um, I, I've displayed this book on it because I think it looks really cool. I don't know. Y'all tell me what you think. I just love it. Love it. Love it. You know what would look really good is Versailles. There's a fleur-de-lis on that. Hang on. Let's try this. This is just something that I like to do myself. I like to, you know, if you have these easels or flower frogs with postcards, you know, you can change your decor really easily. And I like doing that. I like seeing different things. I like appreciating different things. So 
I love these for that. You can't see the Florida lead, but anyway, it's awesome. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Do you have a favorite item? What do you think about that? Do you want me to go get more animals? Because I'd be happy to. Um, let me know. I hope to see you guys tomorrow at my live sale. And I hope everyone is doing well. I'm very... Oh, I do this every time, y'all. Whenever I have a huge haul, I forget. These glass animals. OMG. Look at this donkey. These are good sized. Um, I, I guess I could measure them. Let me show you them up close. Look at how cute this donkey is. Yeah, I'm gonna measure these so I can give you an idea how big they are. Okay, the donkey is about three inches tall. Look at how cute he is. He's perfect condition. I hope it's showing, but it's got, he is a brown donkey. Little applied eyes. Then I picked up this poodle. Oh my gosh. Now, I I don't know. I haven't looked at this uh, very closely. I have to admit, I just put everything out. I'm not sure if this is Murano or not. I don't know. I don't think those are Millefiori. Yeah, they're, they're not. So, I'm not sure, but whatever he is, he is fantastic. Look at this poodle. Look at the tip of his tail. I'm going to put him down. Again, these aren't the teeny tiny little glass animals. They're they're decent sized. This is my favorite though, y'all. Look at this horse. He's like a reddish orange color. I love that pose. That pose is very mid-century as well. With the long legs and the big feet. Um, he is amazing. Is he not beautiful? I love him. Love him. Okay. That's it for today. I think I got everything. Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to laugh at yourself. I did show these on Friday. I got more of the Sterling and Pink Agate. These could be various different stones. I'm not quite sure. They're marked 925. Oops, on the inside. Um, they're just really cute. You know, I there's um, the thrift store in town that has these from time to time. So I don't know if somebody was selling them or what exactly um, the situation was, but whenever I see them out, I, tr I tend to pick them up, especially these pink. Um, they have sold really well. So these are size eight, I believe, or maybe eight and a half. But if you're interested in those, you can always let me know that too. Okay, I think I've rambled for long enough. Thanks to everyone for all of your support. Uh, kudos to you if you made it to the end of the video because this is a long one. Okay, take care, guys. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you happen to just fall onto my channel. That sounds weird, but if the algorithm sent you to me, awesome. Nice to meet you. Bye, guys.